So we got through the 26th of December and we played the uh, 29th of December and Soviets did their thing. The Germans in the bottom of the 29th turn did their thing. And what that ended up being was a uh, really concerted effort here, pulling out all the stops, using supply to extend a, a line here, uh, live off a tree bark. That's when kind of the light bulb went off for me that uh, I had those tree bark units that I could feed uh, and substitute for trace supply which then allowed me to bring all the units that were over on this side of the board, just, just here, up around this extender, figuring I couldn't, uh, couldn't block all of the access routes to the, uh, to the edge of the board or to the rail to the edge of the board, so why not just try and surround the extender, which is what we did. I assessed trying to attack that, uh, try and wipe it out, and it really just wasn't possible. Uh, because I only had 5T up in that area. Oh, excuse me. And uh, with all that in mind, I elected to go for the surround the extender and attempt to start that type of uh, approach. There's only two small units in there, probably nine combat factors. Uh, so I did that here on the left-hand side. I had some forces up here. I pulled them back a little ways and consolidated around here, made several small attacks actually, and tried to clear some space uh, in and around uh, kind of this segment and, and push back some of the Soviet attacks that had occurred, and the Soviet attacks were a disaster. They rolled badly for supply, not for supply, for um, surprise and things like that, so those attacks were all just debacles. So, uh, I just had a little interruption there, so let me see where it was. Um, the Soviets went fairly aggressively uh, in, over in this section and, and here, <coughs> consolidated back down near Tula, uh, this, this little section here, you know, Tula's just over there. So at the end of that turn, I was thinking, oh wow, you know, it's, it's done and dusted now because what does that leave the Soviets in terms of choices assuming that they are indeed surrounded and are going to have to do what? So if we imagine it was the 1st of January term for 1942, uh, we would need to elect to want to break out. That's one of our choices. And we would uh, uh, look at all these stacks of units and we'd roll for every stack. Uh, and the reason why we, we might want to consider that is there's only about... I want to say somewhere between 25 and 30 plus 30 odd SP in here and we have a requirement roughly for 22 or 23 so we're only going to buy ourselves one turn of grace and that will mean no mech movement no combat etc 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 all the combat is going to have to come from outside of the encircled circle so to speak there's probably a military term for that uh, right so we would want to look at breakout and breakout would mean rolling for all these stacks and then depending on what you roll they're either eliminated or they come back uh, between one and six turns later on the eastern or northern edge of the map that's just the typical standard uh, breakout rules for uh, OCS big choice to make big commitment to make what I could do for some of the units is I could place a, uh, I would have two of these these available to me, two of the tree bark uh, things. I could feed an awful lot of these forces uh, from tree bark. So between tree bark and living off the land, so to speak, uh, uh, eating SP, we could probably last uh, maybe two turns. The question then would become, okay, what, how can the Soviets break, break the chain here and free this up? The way this is stacked, uh, three units, I actually went ahead and, and, and uh, factored up uh, doing an attack here, rolled, uh, let's assume that I, I, I actually went in the flak roll and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we DG'd this stack here because uh, it's got the you know, shortest number of movement points to a rail line um, and I did the attack six to one roll for surprise minus three columns again 
Roll the six, it would have been an AL 101 DO1. So that means that the attacker would have lost one. He would have wanted, have wanted to stay in the hex, so he would have lost a second step. Uh, so we would have lost our, uh, our guard cav and one, and one other step. So we'd probably take, a, you know, take one off here. And these guys would lose their 2-5, because he was the one that we would be using. Uh, well, there we go, look at that, that's real special. Sometimes you just gotta use the tweezers sharpie. Alright, there we go. Uh, that was there somewhere, I think. And here comes the air conditioner. So, I think what that tells me is that I'm fairly comfortable with the fact that uh, assuming the Germans actually did, didn't even do anything this turn, they could probably hold this choke point here, forcing a double turn of trace supply being fed off the map, which means they would have to start rolling for attrition fairly aggressively. I think that would be, whether that's a moral victory or an absolute victory, we've, we would wipe out this majority of this force, I believe, and uh, some may come back, uh, you know, either through reinforcements or if we did a breakout. Um, but it would be ostensibly the end of the, ba of the battle. This is the majority of the forces. There's not a whole lot down in the south. Uh, there's not a whole lot here. And just real quickly, I'll show you what's going on in the south. Uh, I didn't even move the Germans down here last turn. I just conserved. SP, even he just left all the infantry where they are. Uh, so it's all pretty much as it was on the 26th. And there's the uh, Soviet defense there of Rostov, which is, you know, fairly decent, but it's crackable, I think. And obviously there's this whole, you know, guard the river deal that uh, needs to happen. Uh, so I think, I think that's it. And look, there's a fly. Uh, okay. Right, there you go. Not much more to say other than that it's been pretty amazing and uh, a, a very special experience. This would be my limit, I think, in terms of size. Don't think solo. All right, talk to you later.